What's going on you guys welcome back to the channel and today I got a, another kind of fun Python tutorial for you and we're gonna be looking at um, building an interactive gradebook utility inside of Python and so essentially what this means is I want to build a tool like a teacher might find useful in a classroom where you can do a few things like you can modify the uh, value of each assignment you can add students and, and insert their grades and then you can actually view grades back so um, let's go ahead and get into it. This is going to assume that you know a little bit of Python. So if you're unfamiliar with any sort of object-oriented programming, you probably do want to check out this channel for um, the Intro to Python's playlist, um, Intro to Python playlist, and that'll get you started. But without further ado, let's get going. Um, essentially, because there are a few different things that you can do in this um, function, I want to start by uh, actually figuring out what the user wants to do so I'm gonna call the action um, variable and I'm going to set it equal to something uh, I'll create a function called initialize that's essentially going to be um, what we run every time we wanna do a new action so basically um, inside of initialize <coughs> excuse me we're gonna gather the action from the user and we'll just start by printing out and saying uh, welcome to your grade book make a selection okay so we'll just print that text on the screen and then let's get the selection and let's actually set it equal to an input from uh, the user and we'll say one modify weights so um, that'll be like modifying the weight of each grade in your grade book uh, like tests quizzes homework and how much each thing is worth two will be add students and then three will be view grades okay you could add a whole bunch of things um, to this I'm basically just trying to show you a format of how to build an expandable um, program so then we'll say four is exit if you're done with the code and everything um, alrighty but then we're gonna get their selection while we're inside of this and let's just go ahead and return the selection and actually we've written this to where we want it to be an integer and Python's default input is gonna grab you a string so we add the int to it to get that selection variable as an integer and then that gets transferred into action as it's running <clears throat> and then we'll create our actual functional loop so basically while action is not equal to 4 right because 4 means exit then we're gonna do something else so then we're gonna check with some if statements and see well if the action is equal to one what do we say we're going to do we're going to modify weights so let's go ahead and create a function called modify weights but since we're here let's go ahead and define everything and that'll tell us exactly what we need to make as we go through two will be add students and then uh, three is going to be view grades okay um, but then once action is four, they're exiting. So let's just go ahead and tell them on their way out, like print, thanks for using the gradebook. Alrighty, and then we'll just exit code. Uh, you don't even need to put the exit, it's the end of your program, so it's gonna say process exited, um, but I'm just showing that uh, that's where it finishes. And then let's go ahead and create those functions right now and um, modify weights. Uh, and let's just pass it for now um, so that we don't get those errors anymore and we'll actually flesh out what each of them do as we get going here but this will help us uh, create holders for all the code as we define each thing and then three was gonna be view grades yep okay so we've just created basically holders to um, insert the code for each of these functions into um, modify weights, add students, view grades. And then an important thing is every time this finishes uh, one of the functions, we need to run that initialize again because it's going to do a function once. And then we're going to go ahead and update the action based on uh, whether or not that was all they wanted to do or if they want to do something else. So it's important to add that action equals initialize to every iteration of the while loop. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck in an infinite loop. If you know anything about programming, infinite loops are bad. <laughs> okay, 
So let's go ahead and um, start with one. Let's just go in order and let's modify the weights. And so you know what I'm talking about when I say um, like a, a weighting. Um, you in, in a school you would have um, this standard like format of saying well tests are equal to 50% of your grade and quizzes are going to be equal to 30% of your grade and then homework will be equal to you gotta put it in print uh, in quotations <laughs> uh, homework is going to be equal to that last 20% of your grade so it makes the most sense in my mind to uh, put that in a dictionary. There's a few ways you could do it, um, but I really think a dictionary where you associate key uh, value pairs um, is the best way to go. And that way, when we do modify weights, um, we have like a starting table to start from, just a default table. And so we're gonna actually start by printing out and just saying the current weighting is and then let's convert that weights table to a string. And so this is just letting the user see what the weight currently is. You don't wanna keep something a secret. Um, and then let's just create a variable called repeat uh, because we want them to be able to modify as many um, times as they want. So we'll make repeat an input and we'll say, would you like to modify these? and then we'll tell them please enter yes or no um, alrighty and then let's do another while loop so while repeat equals yes and we're gonna ask them every time they finish modifying something if they want to do it again so that and then if they say no we'll make repeat equal to no and then we'll move on you could make it a boolean true false value that's not how I'm doing it right now but let's get into it so while repeat is on let's pick a a, a weight that we're gonna call modify um, or a, a variable that we're gonna call modify and that's gonna be an input where we ask the user to say which item which item would you like to modify okay and then let's put a let's put a space in there Alrighty, so that's gonna give us the um, modify value. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our weights table and look for that key that they just entered. So you would enter in that input like tests, quizzes, or homework. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna update the value to an integer now, but another input and we ask the user, enter the new weight for this item. Okay, and so uh, let's go ahead and kind of grab these two lines of code and stick it inside our while loop as well. So then we'll say the current weighting is and show them the weights now that it's been modified and then ask if you would like to modify these again. Okay, and so now we're inside of a loop that'll just run as many times as we need it to run and then we can return from the function so uh, that's a good bit of code but let's actually start running this just so we can kind of see the practical side of why do this so here we go welcome to your gradebook make a selection and let's say we want to modify some weights the current weighting is tests 50 quizzes 30 homework 20 and let's say yes we want to modify them we want to modify the weight of the tests and make it up to 60 okay now let's say we also need to modify because our total is way more than a hundred now uh, so let's modify homework down to 10 okay now we can look at and see tests are 60 quizzes are 30 homework is 10 so no I'm good I don't need to modify anymore it lets us go back to the grade book and now the only other thing we have in place is if I put in a 4 it should let me exit and it does so um, right there that's a great start we've created like a multi-function tool and we've defined the first function inside of it. This video is almost at 10 minutes, so I'm gonna wrap it up right here, but we're gonna go ahead and define add students and view grades and do a lot of polishing up of this function in part two. So if you found this useful, make sure to check that out as well. And uh, be sure to check out all the other content on the channel. We have tons of tutorials in Python and other software platforms. And if you found this or anything else useful, be sure to leave a like and a subscribe. It helps the channel out a ton. And as always, good luck with your code and thanks for watching. Thanks, bye.